Hi everybody, in this video I want to talk about the essential accessories that you'll want to buy um, with your Steam Deck or pretty much soon after you've got one to, to get the most out of it. So the first thing you're going to want is, if he says holding it on the right side, is an SD card, one of these little babies down there, micro SD card. And the reason for that is if you are into playing your AAA games or your AA games that are fairly recent on your Steam Deck, in fact, even older ones, is they take up an awful lot of space. And this particular model that I got was the 512 gigabyte OLED model. And pretty soon I realized, you know, you install a, a few 60 gigabyte games and you're running out of space pretty quickly. So I went for a 512 gigabyte micro SD card. So I've got about a terabyte of um, um, storage, but I fully understand now why people upgrade the internal hard drives or the internal SSDs on their Steam Decks to, you know, two terabytes and things like that. So pretty, pretty quickly, you're going to want to get um, a micro SD card to, to um, extend that storage for your games. Next thing is a screen protector. You can't really see it on this one. Now, the OLED model, uh, 512 gigabyte, and they do they do a 256? Can't quite remember. But they, uh, it has a shiny screen. Now, when I bought my screen protector, I accidentally bought a matte screen. But I have to say, I've been pretty impressed with the matte screen. And I think... I think one of the, the top-end Steam Decks has a matte screen as well, or an anti-glare etched glass screen. Because obviously I make quite a lot of videos for YouTube about the Steam Deck, and there's always lights on around the house. Um, and although, yes, you do lose a little bit of contrast, um, the game and the screen looks, still looks fantastic. So whether you decide to go glossy or you decide, decide to go anti-glare matte, um, you know, get yourself a screen protector. That way, if you accidentally scratch it, you can um, you can get rid of it. Next thing, and I'm going to kind of if I put the steam deck there, is a deck. Now, there's the official deck that you can buy, um, and don't poo-poo the idea of that because even though it's it's quite expensive, because when you buy the official um, dock uh, for your deck. Uh, it comes with an extra power supply, which is cool. I didn't realise that <laughs> at the time. So I just bought uh, this. This is an Ivor um, dock. Um, and um, I've been pretty happy with it because it was quite cheap. I think it was about 20 quid. Might even be less. Now, all a dock is, it, it's this bit here, this plastic bit that you can see, all that is is just somewhere for your Steam Deck to sit in, or your phone, you know, it's, it's just that that bit isn't, and in fact, when you see um, people talk about dongles a lot of the time for the Steam Decks, all a dock is, is a dongle with an extra bit of plastic on that the Steam Deck can sit in, and what this gives you the ability to do is when you sit your Steam Deck in it, you plug the uh, USB into there, and then what you can do is you can then also plug in your um, power supply into the back of it so it can charge the Steam Deck. But you don't have to, but it gives your Steam Deck access to these extra ports. So as you can see there, we've got HDMI out, so you can connect it to a monitor. And then we've got USB ports here as well, so you can connect different accessories to your Steam Deck as well. So that could be um, extra drives, you know, hard drives or SSDs, or in this case, a wireless keyboard and mouse which i'm going to show you in a little bit um and so th this is really great for, for kind of a number of things it gives you somewhere nice to kind of pop your steam deck down in so it's got somewhere to sit um when it's charging like that which which is very very nice it also the fact that when you're using a keyboard or mouse which we're going to kind of see in a minute it gives it a nice stand to sit in as well um, and then it gives you the ability to have all these uh, extra extra bits. For me personally, because I'm very lucky, you know, and I've got a gaming PC, I, I'm not really going to use my Steam Deck docked, um, and then, you know, I'm plugged in to a monitor to play it that way. Um, so I don't really use the HDMI. But the fact that I can plug in a wireless um, keyboard and mouse is is definitely a big bonus, and it is very very helpful because one of the things you're going to want to do is if we plug this into here if we go into the menu and we go down to here we go into power we go into desktop mode your steam deck has desktop mode which turns it into what well, doesn't turn it into because it is already a um might be a bit difficult to see this 
turns it into a uh, PC. Well, lets it turn back into a PC. You've got to remember that the heart of the Steam Deck is a Linux PC, which is, I know this is difficult to see, but that, that's what that is. And then the Steam OS is on top of that. Now, it doesn't mean you have to go into this and have a look at it, but if you want to, and if you're working with files and downloading stuff for emulators, um, then this is, this is a good place to be. So if I turn on this wireless mouse and keyboard, if we turn that on there, I've now got access. So you can probably you probably saw that. Here we go. So we've got access to Chrome. So you can go into Chrome, and so you can browse the web. You can watch Netflix. You can do all the, to do your emails. You can use um, Google Docs or all, all that sort of stuff. Um, yes, as you can see, this is the full version of Steam that's that's running here. Um, and there is the kind of uh, file manager. So when you're doing all that sort of stuff, that's there. And when you're doing stuff like this, this is where a wireless keyboard and mouse comes in very, very handy. Now, you don't, this is quite a cheap wireless keyboard and mouse because it needs that little dongle. But I think, I could be wrong, but I think you can get Bluetooth keyboards and mouses. Not dead sure. Um, you'll have to do a bit of little bit of research. But if you get one like this that requires a dongle, then you need the dock for in order to plug the, that in and then you need to plug your steam deck into the dock so it has access to the usb port so you've then got your um you, you, you've then got access to your keyboard and mouse which makes things like you know typing and selecting stuff much much easier so there we go for me there's the four essential accessories that you need for your steam deck as a minimum you definitely need a micro sd card 512 gigabyte gives you a nice lot of storage Screen protector, just in case you scratch it, and whether you go matte, anti-glare, or glossy, that's up to you. And maybe you can always change them if you don't like it anyway, can't you? And then we have the dock, which makes it just, just so much more practical. And then we have the wireless keyboard and mouse, if you think you're going to be going into something like um, going into the desktop mode and messing around and doing technical stuff like that. Or even, even actually I should add to that as well, is... What we sometimes forget is that there's lots of games out there that aren't certified for DEC, um, mainly because of the control scheme. Say you think games like Armour 3 and DayZ, which run very, very well on the Steam Deck, but you've got to play on keyboard and mouse, you know, especially games like Armour 3. You know, they're designed for keyboard and mouse. There are controller profiles out there that you can use, but to get the most, to, to enjoy, you, you, you're going to want to play keyboard and mouse. And there is definitely... A use, I think, for if you are a big Armour 3 fan and you want to play, for example, Armour 3 at work um, and you have a nice, you know, say you have an hour lunch break and you can sit at a desk, why wouldn't you want to take in your Steam Deck? You know, on the way to work, you can play the Steam Deck on the train or on the bus or if you're a passenger in a car, you can play, you know, you can play your other games with the with the controls. And then on your lunch break, you dig out your wireless keyboard, your mouse and your, and your dock and you plonk it down, and then you can play Armour 3. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's a valid thing. You know, if, to start off with the Steam Deck, I was a bit like, well, if, you can't, you, if you've got to use a keyboard and mouse, you know, what's the point? But, you know, there, there's definitely situations where you may want to do that. So there we go. Essential accessories, micro SD, screen protector, dock, wireless keyboard and mouse. Or I guess, you, actually, with the dock, you could have a wired keyboard and mouse, couldn't you? Well? you just, just plug them into the USB ports. There we go. What do you think, though? Do you have any essential Steam Deck accessories you think you should have? Um, if you do, you know, put them in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit like, comment, see the same, press subscribe. And, of course, I'll see you again soon.